Hi, welcome to our channel. I am Lizzie. And I am Melanie. Halloween is over and we are just barreling into Thanksgiving. And so we thought we might make some side dishes that would help you to free up some oven space. I know for me that's really important. Having something like maybe sage mashed potatoes that I can make in my Instant Pot completely helps us free up just that much oven space. Yes, and it's a simple recipe too. It's super easy. Yes. So what we are using, we have, I have uh, two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. Okay. Now I have always made my potatoes with russet potatoes. But I keep reading that the Yukon Gold are super creamy, so we're going to find out and see if it makes a difference. Mm. Sage, these are sage mashed potatoes. These are some fresh sage, and mm. then water for the potatoes, and then salt, and sour cream, and there's a little pot, I cannot see it, that has melted butter and cream and salt and pepper. Oh, and that's it. melted butter and cream in the same. Yeah, that way you're not getting anything cold. Just Ra oh, okay. That makes sense. Make anything cold All right. So I'm going to tilt this towards the camera so you guys can see it. That's the melted butter and cream. <laughs> And uh, this is the sour cream. Yes, yeah, sour cream just makes it better. Yes. Go. So to put the sage in the potatoes, I pinch off a few of the leaves right at the stem. Let's do a few. I've got some already in here. And I layer them together. And I just want to say that sage is possibly one of the greatest smells. Oh, freshly. And it's real Thanksgiving-y. Is that a word? Thanksgiving-y. So which is why I'm making sage mashed potatoes. And then I run the knife through it, trying to keep, make sure to keep my knuckles so I don't hurt myself, which I've done before. Haven't we all? I'm pretty good now. And then I just kind of kind of keep going this way and that way. And it will make the potatoes look beautiful and smell delicious. There you go. And I just put them in there. Okay. And spill half of them. Voila. What we do is we are going to add, if you want to, the water is somewhere. Yeah, the water yeah. is right here. So I'll pour it in the water. That's three cups, and I think it'll be enough, and I'll get a better sense. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's better. Do it. Do it. Inside my Instant Pot, I have this trivet, and that's mostly so I can get the potatoes out when I want to drain them. Oh, so I just put it in there. Very clever. So that's three cups of water, and I might add a little bit more. I heavily salt the water because I think that helps season the potatoes. Oh, that's a great I idea. So like gonna... pasta. Right. Yeah. Like the sea. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Do you guys know that trick? That you taste your water, and if it tastes like seawater, you have enough. To be clear, I'm not going to taste this. I'm just going on. Yeah, yeah. right, okay. right, right. You've done it so many times. So this is um, just peeled and sliced. I cut them in half and then sliced them. And I want you to know that some people like their um, peels, the, yeah. the skin on them. Mm -hmm. I, I tend to not, but I don't care. I'm not fanatical about it. If there's a couple pieces of skin, I do not yeah. care. Yeah, I think at holidays, erring on the side of caution is always good, if, especially if you're having extra family members over and you don't right. know if it's regular like people then yeah right yeah i'm going to add more water i think i want it to just be a little bit higher and it's not based on any science this is i have two pounds of potatoes and three cups of water and now i have about four cups of water and that looks better to me and yes yeah, so i'm just going to lean this towards the camera so you guys can see it she has the trivet in there then she has the potatoes and then the water we're going to put the lid on you're good at this. You'll get it. I do. See, you, that. you are amazing. Move it to ceiling. Now I'm going to set it to um, pressure cook. And the older models, it would say manual. And this is at 20 minutes. I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can kind of show what I'm doing. I'm going to bring it down to eight minutes. That's all it needs. I have a bad habit of overdoing. Like if it says eight minutes, I'll make it <laughs> ten just in case. But I'm not going to do that because it's really easy to do more if you need it. If it's not super right, exactly, so exactly. I don't care. And that's it. We'll wait eight minutes and do a quick release, and we'll see you in a few minutes. All right. You know, I did that the other night, Lizzie. I made minestrone in the instant pot, and I overdid it, and the vegetables were a little overcooked. Yeah, and I, I did that last time I made um, ratatouille. I, I know. I know. I follow the same recipe every time I've done it for a very long time, but no. So anyway, I'm trying to get not. I'm trying to get better about that. Yeah. All right. So okay. We'll see, see you soon. in a bit. So I'm going to release the steam. Everyone stand back. Stand. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> this one. There we go. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. Hey, Joe. Ah. Oh, okay. It's getting me now. No, no, it's really so now. <laughs> All right. The pin is popped. Yay. This is an app for release. I'm going to lift this up. Yeah, I'll take that from you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I'm going to take the potatoes out so we can dump the inner pan and then the potatoes will go back in. But this is not working out like I hoped. It was just a new plan. It's Here still we... a pretty good plan. Though, it's right. That's this... a lot of potatoes. Right. I got a lot. Yeah. I'm going to pull the rest out. Okay. Oh, do you need a... No, you don't. 
I was oh, gonna ask if you needed a slotted spoon. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, and they're falling apart. So they're it's gonna mash super beautiful. easy. Beautiful. Yes. But you can actually use whole potatoes when you do this. You can peel them when you. There's so many different ways. Yeah. And there's really no. This is not like baking. There's no real right or wrong way. Yeah. So that's really good. You want to help? Yeah, I'll help. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. And then I will dump that. I think it'll probably be easier with that spoon at this point. Yes, we probably and need to til tilt the pot I can at do that. this point. All right. All right. Careful, careful. Yes, I will be very careful. Always on the mother. One of the things I've learned, a couple things. One is you can use you can use a, a mixer, but I didn't have great luck once. If you don't mix it, if you mix it too much. Oh, it turns I, into glue. Glue. The glue. Yeah. It's the gluten. Gluten. Yeah. Glue, and it turns it right. into glue. It really does. So yeah. I prefer to use either the ricer or the masher, which is yes. what we're going to do. So we're going to yes. put the potatoes back in somehow. You want to look at that? Here. How about... I lift this and you pour the ones that are falling. Which and then I will tilt. I think we're good. Yeah. That could have been much worse. Super. Oh yes. Alright. Awesome. That there. Keep this here. And we are going to add the cream and butter. That is a half a stick of butter melted with what was supposed to be a half a cup of cream and I accidentally poured the whole cup in. <laughs> it's just the way it's gonna be. And then we're gonna add um what else is there? Sour cream. Oh, some sour cream. And that is about a quarter cup of sour cream and potatoes. Where's the sour cream? Here we go. So a quarter cup of sour cream. And I don't know what sour cream does for it. Some people like to put Greek yogurt and they say it's tangy. It has a tang to it. But mm -hmm. I've always just added the sour cream. So that's what I'm yes. going to do. And then, yep, we're going to mash. And then we'll add salt and pepper. And also the sage because it's just going to look so beautiful. Okay. And you've already added the I have the not. Garlic no, I, I, it was not. last minute. Um, Addition. Yes. So well, well, it's us. You have to put garlic right. in. So I want you to add a little bit of that, and I'll start the mashing. Okay. And if you need me to mash too, let me know. So it's kind of cold. It's not too much cream. I may have to just go get more potatoes. Pop them in. Oh, I don't think so. No, I, I think it's going to be, really gonna be just right. Oop. No. Where's the? Here they are. Thank you. Okay. There we are. You could take the liner out, but. Since we're already on the they're bed. here. Oh, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. No, they're going to be I, just right. I think right. they're going to be creamier than I want. I think I would go with a half a cup of cream. Okay. But I think it will still be delicious. And I think if you let these sit for a few minutes, I'm they're sure that's not true. going to so be So I'm going to taste them because I need to know if it needs more salt. Okay. And it almost always does. And if you want to mash a little, because there's some sure. chunks there. Absolutely. No. I think it's perfect. Oh, wow. But do you want to oh, add the garlic I while do. I'm mashing? Whoa. That's oh, not my. What I expected that, but that is very full. I could have put that whole thing in there without <laughs> any issues. So, with this way, I'm going to waste some, but here we go. Just a little bit in there. Sage asked something nice, and sage is such a Thanksgiving y taste to me that I thought it was nice. Yes, you're right. Oh, did you want to add a little pepper? Yes, I did want to pepper. I'm not adding more salt, though. Because pepper makes everything better. Yes, and I'll Thanks. just stir it with the potato stirrer. Oh, they are just beautiful, they Lizzie. They are. Doesn't the sage make it look pretty? It does. That's nice. So here comes the taste. Melanie can't taste it because it has things that she didn't eat. Yeah. But it has nothing that I don't eat, so I'm going to taste yeah, it. Yeah, go for and it. And actually, it has thickened up. I, I still... Yeah, maybe absolutely. Maybe three quarters cup. Maybe one cup. And really, that would be preference. I think what you did. You think the whole cup was good? Absolutely. So we'll put one cup in the um, directions. Yes, absolutely. Because it definitely thickened up a lot more than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm so impressed with not needing to salt like it. I did have this water like the sea. So thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that this helps you think of some ways that you could perhaps save some oven space during your Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, yes. We would love for you to subscribe. Yes, please do. And when you subscribe, a little notification bell will pop up. And if you press the notification bell, every time we post a video, you will know about it. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Please leave us a comment. We like comments. Yes, let us know what else you want us to do for Thanksgiving. If you have a particular dish that you'd like for us to um, to do a video about. And look for us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're everywhere. Yes. We will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Channel, I'm Lizzie. And I am Melanie. And we're going to do that again. It <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Sorry. Halloween in here. Bye. Bye. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs>